What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombies game series where I go back and play all the zombies games that I missed out on. And we're still on BL1 and today we're on to our final map here and we're gonna be playing on Moon. And it says here for Moon, I believe that the nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before the decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. JFK 1961. So let's go ahead, hop on Moon and see what this map's all about. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but let's go ahead and see for ourselves. Different splash image here, looking like uh, an ad with a little comic book on the side. Oh wait, there's the Thunder Gun on there. There's Gamble Ray Specs, there's Space Ice. There's a Pack Punch Machine. I'm just now noticing all this. Zombie Comedy, Speed Cola, big ad there. I don't know how I missed that. There's a Monkey Bomb as well. A lot of stuff on here. Oh, we're spawning right next to Pack-a-Punch. All right. Um, This doesn't look like the moon. We got some zombies showing up. Get some points from them. Where am I at? Oh, we're in Groom Lake, Nevada. Looks like we got a teleporter here and we got Jug. Why is it playing the nuke sound? Oh, there's a shit ton of zombies. Okay. All right. I'll hit the teleporter. So many zombies. Holy shit. What the? Okay. All right. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, my Lanza. There's so many. Let me through. Look at me training. Everything's come down to this. Eat that nade. Oh, let's go. Oh, and there's hellhounds too. Okay, I have no ammo. I don't see any wall buys anywhere. I'm just gonna go to the teleporter and we'll see what happens. We're immediately getting into some shit. I survived a minute 17. What? Okay, I'll bite quick revive here. I have no air. Where do I go? Open this up. Oh, what? I grabbed it. Must take one last shot of vodka. Must take one last shot of vodka. Okay. All right. We'll put the suit on. Okay. So far, this is pretty cool. We got our helmet on. We have no ammo though. We just hit a nuke. Oh, and we're, we're, we can fly around. Oh, it's all zero gravity. This is sick. Or at least low gravity. Let's grab quick revive back. Is there any wall buys here in space? Th this map literally just throws you right into it. And it's like, all right, try to figure it out. I kind of like that. What's out here? Okay, here's a wall buy. That's the Olympia wall buy though. Where's the M14? There's the M14. I'll take that. Is this a box spawn? Do they have the a space hat on the bear? A space hat. Astronaut helmet? I, what is, what's the terminology for that? It's not a space hat. Are you kidding me? I'm recording this way too early. Can I go out here? Danger jet engine testing probably don't want to go down there i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm pretty sure this is from like a multiplayer map too right but this map is like abnormally quiet fooled you because you're in space yeah whatever i wonder what training is gonna be like up here in zero gravity okay there's another space suit we're back inside oh wait no this is a different area let's keep heading through never mind i'm broke oh <gasps> what are you doing on the other side of the door this is sick I like this map a lot already. Is the only way to get Jug, at, is that right at the start? Because that's the only place I saw the Jug machine. I'm sure there's, I mean, I haven't seen any like big parts of the map yet, but do I have to stay there, get enough money for Jug and then take the teleporter? So I wasn't doing too awful there. But at least we know if we die that that's something that we can do. Who the fuck is this? Pony Girl 66? I don't know you. No, don't touch me. What the fuck? Oh, I thought they took off my thing. I, I, I would go put it back on. So I just teleported. Okay, well, I know for sure that's not an actual person. I'm playing solo and offline. Ain't no way. I'm sure somebody out there, when they first saw that, they're like, oh my God, a girl in a game? Holy shit. M16 wall buy over here. Another door to buy. I'm so lost. All I want to do is explore. Oh my God, Pony Girl's back. No. Do you die? Is it possible for you to die? I didn't even get... Oh, okay. Yes, it is. I was going to say, I'm not even getting points for shooting him or shooting her. And then she just blows up. Probably get quick revive back. Wait, do I even have quick revive? Does it show if I take off my helmet? Okay, no, it would still be there over the over the little helmet in the back. So let's grab it back. It's my third time getting it. All right, I guess I'll stay here for a little bit. Try to get some points. And then once we get enough points, we can start opening some more doors. Figure out what the hell is going on here. It's funny seeing the low gravity zombies. It's like they're moving in slow motion. I never want to go back to regular gravity. I agree. I never want to go back to regular gravity either. So is there going to be another pack punch machine too? Or am I going to have to teleport back to earth somehow? Or what's going on here? Uh, what is this? Jay suddenly don't ask me how to read. I can't do it. I'm just going to call him Jay. What, what are other astronauts doing here? Well, Joe, it's a space station. What do you think? Well, why aren't they zombies if everyone else is? Okay, there's a lot of zombies out here. I wonder how nade bounces work. Would they work like normal or would they just float through the air? I kind of want to test it. Let's see. Oh, they just float. I hope that was not your yak. 
yacking off arm. You just say, I hope that wasn't your yacking off arm. Okay, where's this astronaut at? I got a death machine for him. Come here. I just want to talk. There we go. Got them. Okay, they kind of work like uh, little bombs. If we can take them out, death machine takes them out pretty easily. Okay, I'm grabbing ammo for the M14 and we have 4,000. So I'm sure that we can go ahead and open a few doors here. Am I going to need power? There's got to be power. I mean, the doors are opening on their own. They seem like they use power. So maybe we don't need power. We need to turn on something different. All right, let's pop this open. And now we're in like some moon mine. What the hell is this? Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, here we go. Turn on the power. Artificial gravity and life support online in power. Okay, that was a lot of announcements, but I think they said that gravity is back on or artificial gravity is back on in some places. Found double tap. Looks like I can hear things better now. Do I need this still? Let's see. I think oxygen's good. Crazy how that's a thing you need to worry about. What's up here? Oh, let's put this back on. I think we're probably safer with it on. There's dead shot and an MP5K, I think. Yep. Oh, look at me guessing weapons. What's through here? Okay, there's mule kick. And the mystery box. This looks like a decent area to train at. And we have a teleporter here, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want to jump down there, but I don't want to get stuck or die. We'll just try to survive around out here. We'll see how this goes. Actually, can we go over here? Can I jump this? I can't. Even though I'm clearly like, have a high enough vertical, I can't. I can jump so high. I never want to go back to regular gravity. He even just said I can jump so high. Sea Cowl? What's up with all these astronauts coming out of nowhere? This is actually a real nice area to train, even though it's like kind of finicky in some places because it'll just start like launching me in the air. Like that. But it's not bad. Ooh, an insta kill. Oh, there's double points. Holy shit, look at all those power ups. I need to get over there. Excuse me, Mr. Cowl. Oh, I'm floating away. Ow. We got double points and insta kill going. This guy's camping the double points. He's literally standing on top of it like a dickhead. All right, and I'm low on ammo, so I will grab the mystery box real quick. Give me something good, please. Wonder weapon, perhaps. FFAR or the FAMAS, same thing. There we go. Got him. Maybe I should have saved him to blow up a horde. I don't know if I get points for that. I think I'll grab the 74U, because I like training out here. And then it'll be a real easy weapon to grab uh, some ammo for. But after, like, one more round of training here, I'm going to move on and try to find some other places to explore. I'm just going to try to get all my points up. So if we do end up running into Pack-A-Punch, we'll be able to do it right away. So that's going to be our goal again. Our goal last time on Shangri-La was get Pack-A-Punch, and that almost really <laughs> destroyed me. So we're going to do it again here. Ow. Okay. I just got tag team there. The zombie punched me into the astronaut. Not cool. There goes our quick revive. Okay, we already have a crawler, so I'll just kill the rest of these guys, and then we'll move on. Look for some new areas. Is that all the zombies? I think so. We just have the, the space crawler. So let's move on. Let's head in here. Oh, shit. That's a jump pad? I just got launched. Was this like a terranium? This place is huge. Not very bright, though. There's a door we can open over there, but let's take another look around or a better look around. A box spawn. Oh, we got PhD here. Let's grab it. Why not? All right. Let's try this out. Let's not step on the jump pad, though. Oh, we're back at Deadshot. Okay, starting to loop around. This map is huge. Okay, there, there's our training area. There's got to be another way to go from over here, right? This map is so confusing. You know what? Let's take a leap of faith into the teleporter. Oh, it does take us back. I knew it. But Jug's not here. Oh, yes, it is. And now it's Speed Cola. What? So that's how we get pack a punch and we just have to come back here and try to survive that's kind of crazy and i guess if you can survive here this is probably a good way to get some points like i can just loop here for a little bit Ooh, i don't know how i didn't get hit there just coming back with like stamina up here would be beautiful i just like tripled my points real quick uh oh i oh, know we're chilling we're big chilling actually oh i was about to say i'm actually not that bad at training anymore and now i'm about to get cornered and die yep okay the second I start speaking is the second I start jinxing myself. But at least we kind of have an understanding of the map. We're, we're, we're learning a little bit here. I'm actually excited for the second, the second run through because we kind of know what's up. And now this time, hopefully we won't waste those quick revives going down to like no oxygen. So I guess we can try to get a little bit of points before we head in. I wish there was a wall by here or something. Are these zombies one knife kills? They are. Okay, cool. So here we can kind of just knife away and get points unless we start getting like mobbed. No way you're surviving that. Okay, they're not one knife kills anymore. Because now there's dogs. Take me away. All right, we made it. There we go. All right, now we know what to do. We can kind of build up points. We can go back, get Pack-A-Punch, get whatever perks set in there. When we got there, it was Speed Cola, but I think it might change. Okay, we're, we're understanding. We're learning. 
Oh, we don't even have to buy it. We could have just went right here and picked up our suit, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. They need to make more maps like this. This is sick. This has so much character and it's so much different from like a lot of the other maps in even just this game. Like it really separates itself. And with that, that whole year, Treyarch is getting to make their game. It, they really need to have something like this. Let's open this up. What's in here? Oh, this is where stamina up is. Yeah, we definitely haven't gone this way yet. And we'll open this as well. Okay. I definitely haven't seen all this yet. Yes, I have. This is power. Okay. So we just went the, the complete other way than we did last time. Now we're back at Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, what's the way I came in at? Over here? Oh my god, he's blocking the way. Dickhead spaceman. Is that a stakeout on the wall? Maybe I'll just buy that. I might be a little too broke to do that though. Okay, let's just buy the stakeout. Never mind, I'm still too broke. And Captain Spacecock playing Ring Around the Rosie with me. Get away. There we go. Okay, we have enough to buy a weapon now. This guy would just get the fuck out of the way. We have a stakeout. We don't have any more ammo or any more money to get ammo for our M14. So we'll just chill out for now. And I'll try to survive in here for a little bit until we have enough money to go outside and train. But for now, the stakeout's going to be our lifeline. Any one of these zombies want to drop a power up for me? That'd be pretty cool. A double points, maybe. Bonus points, perhaps. I'll take anything. Oh, there's the double points I was talking about. No zombies really left, though. Oh, they dropped another double points. How sweet of them. They're like, you know what? We didn't give you the double points, you know, early enough into the round. You barely got to get any kills with it. Here's another one. The stakeout is a cheat code. I need more ammo for this cheat code. Zombie, please don't kill me. Holy shit. What are you doing? Fucking sprinting around the corner like that. All right, we can head outside now. This isn't outside. This isn't outside either. It's gotta be right through here. Um, nope. Okay. I didn't see this part before. I'm flying from jump pad to jump pad. <laughs> I made a squeak sound when I landed down there. That's pretty cool. All right, well, I guess we can try going out this way. Never mind, I'm getting launched. I just died. Cool. I just got bounced into my death. That's fucked up. I'll try to get as many kills here as I can before we leave. We already have Jug here. 2,500. Can we get to 2,500 before we go in? That's the real question. Okay, Hellhounds are spawning. So are 14 million zombies. Okay, I'm like out of ammo now and I'm out of life. Okay, restart, retry. All right, let's try this again. Let's get that down. We're almost there, almost enough points. Okay, there we go. We can grab it. All right, let's hit the portal. Let's go, we did it. And we can grab our equipment, put it on. We did it. We got through a jug. Perfect. We got out of it with no ammo, but we can knife our way through this. This is fine. Why does it keep warning me about decompression? Do I need to get out of here? It says in tunnel six. I don't know where that is. So I'm just going to move on a little bit. Oh, shit. Nova crawlers. Get out of here. We've made it. We've made it home. Double points. Let's go. Where are all the zombies at? What the fuck? Those Nova crawlers are insane out here. He just flew. Yeah, we finished off that round. Now I'm just going to try to save up for pack a punch. So we're like right here. Oh, there's a death machine. Need that. Should I get the zombies away from it? Come on, guys. We can talk about this. No, we can't. I'm going to go down. I'm down. Cool. I couldn't jump over this little rock right here, even though it's like no gravity. Please revive so I can grab this. Thank you. I'm at least going to get this out of it. But there goes our jug and our quick revive, which is not good. We could head back and get it right now, but I don't even know if jug will be there because last time we went through, we saw it switch to speed cola. No, that's the game. No. Oh, fuck. We're that close to pack a punch. I'm not leaving without it. I could have really gotten it there too. Just so easily just hopped in the portal and grabbed it. But I wanted to get a little extra money in case Jug was there. So I can grab that as well. But no. All right, is Jug here? Okay, it is. We'll try to get it again. This first area is a lot of fun, actually. What's up, Hellhounds? How's it going? Okay, I'm already dead. All right, that didn't happen. Show me Jug. It's not Jug. I'll restart. It is Jug. Okay. Almost got enough for it. We're almost there. A little more. Perfect. Oh, wait. I need a loop one more time. There we go. All right. Bring me home. We made it through. Perfect. Grab this. Put it on. And we've done it again. All right. I grinded through a few rounds here and we got power on. We're down near the stakeout. I think I might buy that again. I'm just trying to fight my way to pack a punch. All right. We've made it back outside. Now, the second I have enough to pack a punch, I'm going. There's just 45 Nova Crawlers, though. Get the hell out of here. All right, once we have enough, we're going to fly through and get the 74 U pack a punch. We're very close. Oh, there's a nuke. Let me get some more points first. All right, we have enough. Let's go. It's time. It's time we get this thing pack a punched. Heading on through. All right, we're here. Let's make it through the mud. We'll take our helmet off for a second. Pack a punch. 
There we go. There's our 74U. What's it called now? 74FU2. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that reticle. This thing's insane. We don't have enough for speed cola. Maybe we can kind of hold out here. The game seems so loud now that I have my helmet off and like we're on earth. This is actually a good way to grind points, I think. Okay, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm leaving. Too many zombies. I'm not going to overstay my welcome. There we go. Put the helmet back on before I choke to death. I'm falling. What? That scared me so bad. I, th I thought we just ruined our run right there. But apparently that's a jump pad. Okay, we completed our task of getting Pack-A-Punch. And we made it to round 10. We're not doing bad right now. But while we have a second, hold on, there's an astronaut down there. Let's take a look at this Pack-A-Punch. Very nice. Looks real good. Kind of wish they had different camos for each map. But uh, who am I to complain? I can hardly even get Pack-A-Punch. And I'm going to die. And I'm dead. That was cool. We still have quick revive to get though. And we can easily go back and grab jug maybe. I don't know how easy that's going to be, but we can try it. Let's just grab quick revive to make sure our game keeps going here. We died as we were grabbing it, so I guess not. <sighs> Every time something's going well for me, it just starts going bad. And it's anytime I start speaking about it too. All right, well, uh, I think that's where I'm going to call it for this map. But we have completed every map on Black Ops 1. Assuming I haven't left out any DLC, I don't think I have. But I, I've really enjoyed this game. Moon was definitely a good place to finish because this map was insane. But now that we've completed every map for this game, we will be moving on to BO2, but I will be doing some streams for BO1. I, I want to go through, try to figure out everything on the maps, play it with you guys, you know, have you guys scream at me in chat about where to go, what to do, where to find stuff. Uh, maybe we'll get some people together too. Maybe I'll get some of the boys who have played this game. Maybe we'll try some Easter eggs, but uh, we'll see. I, I know these Easter eggs are a little more difficult than uh, Cold War. Probably a lot more difficult because uh, Cold Wars were stupid easy. But that's where I'm going to end today's video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If it didn't, any don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.